So you got that rose, huh? <laughs> Oh, Rolanda, man. And you just so excited about it? That's crazy. Like, I never would, I never imagined that we would be living in a time where people, you know, men and women, because there's, there's toys for guys too. But I, I never thought we would be living in a time where people are more excited about a toy, a man-made toy over having a real partner. Now, granted, I get it. You know, not all of us are lucky and met someone in school and hooked up and are just still with that person till this day. A lot of us, myself included, have dealt with heartbreaks and, you know, breakups and things of that nature. But just the way her energy was lifted you know, having that conversation and showing her friend. Uh, man, it's it's crazy to me. I'm happy for you, Ro. I ain't gonna lie, I'm happy for you because I mean, obviously it's it's a it's a safer choice. Like I said, you know, Atlanta, it's crazy out there, you know, it's a lot of diseases, but um, you know, you went the safe route. It's just, man, I wonder like is the excitement the same, you know, for women whenever there's a new man involved or um, I don't know. You know what I'm saying? I'm not a woman, so I don't know how, you know, I would hope so. But, yeah, it's crazy. She was real excited about that rose. I got a feeling her, her daughter ain't going to be the only one catching her with that rose. If you, if, you, if you know what I mean, Malachi, you know what I'm saying, might hear a little something, think somebody in the house and y'all know how he be acting. You know how Malachi be acting, man. He still care about you. But, uh, man, that's crazy, man. She said, oh, I got the new one. They got 15 settings. So, Miss Goldberg probably don't even know about the new one. Rolanda, you're going to have to tell her. You feel me? Hopefully, she don't, you know, she can keep her hands to herself. And what's up with your homegirl touching all on the rose? I was, I was hoping you wouldn't pull it out the package anyway. I mean, for sanitary reasons, you know what I'm saying? I wouldn't want nobody touching all on that either. So, I hope you wipe the thing off. You know what I'm saying? Hit it with a baby wipe or something. You know what I'm saying? A little sanitation wipe or something. That way you good. You feel me? But uh, I wonder why she went with that over maybe rekindling things with Malachi or uh, the maintenance man she had. I can't remember his name. Man, I, I honestly, I don't see how you, you women do it. Uh, not in a bad way. I'm just saying like me as a guy, I feel like it's different for y'all though. Like the way I think, I feel like toys are more for women and it's just just my perspective you know what i'm saying because it's always it, it's become like the norm for a woman to have toys trips to the adult toy store whether it's for a bullet you know a rose a, a dildo i mean there's many different things i don't want to get too far into that you know what i'm saying i do want to stay on the up and up with with youtube but uh i just as a guy I don't know, I think I would feel a little weird. You know what I'm saying? Like, and trust me, there's toys for guys too. But uh, yeah, I think I would feel it. It's just like, once it's all said and done and um, you climax, it's almost like you come back to reality. And like I said, it's it's been a normal thing for women. You know what I'm saying? To to climax and get what you need. And then you can just clean your toy and, and, you know, get back to your day like nothing happened. But me on the other hand, I think I would really be looking in the mirror, having a conversation with myself. Like, ah, uh, how do we get here? <laughs> you know. But hey, that's just me, man. You know, my perspective is no better than the next man or woman's. I'm just here to give you my perspective and my reaction, you know, to the videos that we all enjoy. So, I mean, hey, ladies, um, what do y'all feel about it? Do y'all feel like she made the right decision? Do y'all feel like it was safer for her to uh, make that trip to the adult toy store and purchase a rose? Do y'all think that uh, she could have used that time and energy in building a new relationship and maybe getting the real thing? Um, again, Atlanta is crazy right now. Like STDs is at all time high. I mean, I've been hearing about AIDS out there, but, um, yeah, ladies, um, 
I'm not going to ask you if you have a rose, but I mean, if you agree with her decision and you have made similar purchase uh, previously or in the past, hey man, kudos to you. Like I said, everyone ain't fortunate to be with somebody who's trustworthy, who's loyal, and who's really there for their best interest. And uh, in these days and times, like I said, it's a lot going on out here. It's a lot going around. So maybe she made the best decision. You know, would you have made the same decision? Let me know in the comments. If you made it this far, hit the like button for me. And if you haven't, subscribe to the channel, man. It's your boy Hot Rod. Till next time.